Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. It's Sole here. I have entry number 29 and entry number 30. So let's go ahead with entry 29. Who is Susan Klein from Susan's Heartstrings? She has a YouTube channel and also on Instagram. So I will make sure to have everybody's detail down below so you guys can go check them out. So Entry 30 is from Lilo Crafts, and I will make sure to have her down below as well. And Susan's mail arrived with my prize. Now, I won a prize from Susan's channel last year, and Susan really wanted to send it to me, but she wasn't able to because USPS has suspended mail to Australia at that time. So she finally got to send it to me and I'm super excited to be using the prize that I won. So let's go ahead with the prize I won first. This was the die that I had won last year and it's a Spellbinders cutting die and it's got the alphabet bit that can come out so I can do some paper piecing and it has all of these lovely florals and little hearts and things. So I can make a really nice card out of this. And also I'm thinking I could turn this into a lovely shaker as well. I've never really had anything from Spellbinders before you guys. So I am excited to win this prize. Thank you so much, Susan. And this was the card that she included. Oh, I'm ripping the envelope. And there is a bumblebee note, and it says, Happy winnings to you, Sole. Thank you for your friendship. Thank you so much, Susan. I am going to really enjoy using this prize. Thank you so much. Okay. So I did say to Susan when I won the prize and she wasn't able to send it to me. So I said she can go ahead and pick another winner, but she really wanted to send it to me. So I really appreciate that so very much. Thank you so much, Susan, for that. So she has sent in the strawberry shortcake shopping bag. So it's like a mini loaded bag. And so she's decorated the craft paper bag with this lovely paper it has almost like a pattern of mix some sort of mixed media print on it and she's used the lace to make a handle for the craft paper bag that is a really great idea and then she has made used the bottom part of the craft paper bag to create these pockets and added more lace bits as the border and she has the strawberry shortcake printed on top of this lovely rose bit. I think it's like one of those large cloth flower. And it's got all of these fun gem pieces on there. Oh, I love that tiny bow. It is so cute. And I love strawberry shortcake. And Susan must have remembered that I do love it. So thank you so much, Susan. So... Let's go through what was inside this bag. So the front pocket had this. It's like a little twinchy. Now Janet does um, twinchy Thursdays. Hash if you guys do hashtag twinchy Thursday, you guys can see all of the wonderful participants that are making the twinchies. And I believe this is Susan's one. So she has used this rose fabric piece and stamped on it. I've never tried stamping on a fabric piece before, so I think I must try that. I think that will be fun to do for journal making. So she's used this lovely pearl border sticker to add accent to the top. Thank you so much. So I'll put that back in there. And then she's included a tag piece that says spring. I just got to make sure there's no address at the back there isn't. So she's left it unglued so I can use this and this and add some tool and make it into a shaker spring tag. That must be why she left it like that for me. Thank you so much. And then, oh my gosh, I see this beautiful handkerchief. Oh, I think it is a handkerchief. Let me open it up. And inside there is her ATC card. 
Wow, look at this, you guys. This is really, really precious. I love this so much, Susan. Wow, you guys, can you just imagine me using that on a journal cover? Wow. I mean, I could turn this, if I cut it in half, I can make like a six by six size journal if I wanted to, or just use it as a layering piece or some tuck spot. That's a really beautiful stitching. I love that. Thank you so much, Susan. I love this. And she's also got a postcard of where she's from. Congratulations on the growth of your channel. You are such a kind lady. I really enjoy your project shares and tutorials. You are an awesome crafter. Thank you so much, Susan. And thank you so much for the postcard. I really appreciate that. And that will go into the journal as well. So I'm just going to move this aside to show you guys this ATC. I love this ATC, you guys. I love fairies and Susan has included this lovely fairy girl and the colors that she's chosen for me is absolutely wonderful. It's got the very pale yellow and I love that she's chosen this one that doesn't, it's not the same color as the fairy skirt. If it was, the fairy would get lost, but she's chosen a pale color border trim, which makes the fairy shine even more. I love that. And she's added some shimmery sparkle by using a shimmery tool behind this picture here and added these lovely embellishments. And the color paper she chose for the background absolutely shines this fairy. Thank you so much, Susan. So, she is Susan Klein. Her YouTube um, used to be called Susan Klein, but it's changed to Susan's Heartstring. And her birthday is December 7th. And she loves pink lace hearts and flowers. Thank you so much, Susan, for your entry. It is a really sweet entry, you guys. So, next one is from Lilo Crafts. And she is Raina here on YouTube. So, I will make sure to include everything down below so you guys can quickly go follow her. I can't show you the front, but this is how her envelope comes. She had this uh, similar character of a cactus on the other side as well. So let's go ahead and have a look at entry 30 from Raina. Look at the way she has presented it. It is a lovely flat nail idea. She has used a piece of paper and used that as a folder by folding it in half and then was able to attach all of these in different sections so it folds nicely flat to put it in a stamped envelope. That is a really wonderful way to send pen pal mail as well. So let's get this. I believe this is her ATC. So I'm just going to move that aside and share the ATC first. It is a really sweet dear ATC card. And she has used the uh, acetate piece and then used the embellishments that she's made to put it on the acetate. I think this one is sort of coming off, but I, I will glue it back. And it says, hey you, and I love that bow that she has put on this sweet deer. So at the back, she has an acetate pocket. And so inside the pocket, there is, I'll put the deer down here so you guys can have a look. There is her information. Let's learn about Raina. Her birthday is June 5th. Now, um, Raina is having a giveaway as well, you guys. So please make sure you go check out her channel. And her faves are family, friends, and Jesus. And her crafty faves is light pink polka dots, bows, and anything that sparkles. I love anything that sparkles as well. But I don't use sparkle in all of my projects depends on the type of projects I'm doing. So that's her ATC there. And then let's go ahead and have a look at her other embellishment. 
So she has made mini shaker envelopes. I will get one off to show you guys. So this one I can further embellish if I wanted to. So there's those. And then she's also included some journaling cards that she's been stitching. She's been practicing stitching. She's enjoying using her sewing machine. And she did a wonderful job decorating these uh, Project Life cards. That flower piece there looks like a Prima piece. And then she's die cut a butterfly, added the silver doily at the corner. That is wonderful layering. Pink thread all around. And then this one here, it says the little things are one of the biggest things. It's really, really true. And I love this uh, Project Life card. And then she's also included some journal tabs. I can definitely use this as part of the friendship journal I'm making with all of these things. So this one has some foiled ephemera piece of a bird cage, and she's die cut out a, a circle of heart and added this tiny butterfly there use the pink stitching all around and the other side says follow your heart and this is another one where she has used the different fabric now what do you call this fabric so she's layered the circle piece underneath this heart piece and added the flower and the tiny butterfly i really like that tiny butterfly shape it's really really nice and did some zigzag stitching. Thank you so much, Raina, for entering. And thank you so much, Susan, for entering my challenge. Truly appreciate all of these ladies for taking their time to enter my challenge. Thank you so much. And also, Susan, thank you once again for my wonderful prize. I will truly enjoy using this. I will show you guys the ATCs one more time from both. Make sure you guys go check them out. Thank you so much for being here, everybody. Bye for now.